Okay, for the next part of this series, I wanna prep my journal. Now I'm gonna, again, use what I have. And this is a moleskin, moleskin something, I don't know. I ripped the page, title page, oh no I didn't. It's a moleskin weekly notebook from 2017, 2018 that I never used. And normally I would have these sort of dashboards protecting the pages I'm not working on, like something like this. But for what we're gonna do, I'm not sure this is enough protection. And I kinda wanna make a clear plastic something. I can slip one side of the journal in and then flip up the pages I'm gonna work on and flip the other side in. Does that make sense? So I have these sheet protectors I've had for a while. So I thought I would take one or two of these. I'm not sure one is going to be big enough. Mm, not, I'd rather have two, I think. That way if the journal gets puffy, there's room. So I'm gonna take two of these and I'm gonna cut the holes off because I don't need them. Then I'm gonna open the sheet protector and I'm gonna put one inside the other. I realize this might be hard for you all to see on camera because these are clear. So I'm going to tape that together with some clear packing tape. And we're gonna flip it over. Now I need this to not overlap on this side. So I'm going to cut away the part where they overlap on each side. It doesn't have to be neat and perfect and pretty because it's just, yeah, that's not, it's not about that. Okay, so then I'm gonna tape the top shut. basically make a clear plastic book cover for my art journal. It do, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm sure you could probably go buy something, but I don't want to spend any money and I want to just use what I have. So now I've got this thing that has these two pockets in it. So I can take my art journal that I'm going to use and I can put one side over here. I can lift up the two pages I wanna work on to start with. I can take the other side. And put it over there. That works very nicely. I can take some blue painter's tape, which is somewhere around here. Hold on, rip off a piece of blue painter's tape and you'll have, because my cover is bigger than my journal, there's a gap, so I wanna, it's not gonna be perfect and things are still gonna leak, but we wanna minimize the leakage. And so I'm gonna put a piece of tape there and then I'm gonna push the journal up against the tape. And put another piece down here. The other thing that we will do is fold this back on itself and put a clip. Just hold things neat and clean and hopefully sort of flat like that. And again, things may still get through and I might put some masking tape on the spine so that what I'm using doesn't leak through the spine here to the other pages. Um, for that, I would just put some uh, masking tape. Um, you don't have to. You could just not worry about what's leaking. I don't know that I'm going to. 
But that's all for the next episode. Right now we're just making a clear plastic protective cover for our art journal, which you could use for any art journaling project or you could cut dashboards out of random plastic or these are clear plastic cutting mats from the dollar store. So use what you have, make something to protect your journal, the pages you're not working on, or semi-protect them, and join me in the next episode. Don't forget to have fun, make art, be creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you in episode three. Bye guys.